Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Prism here on the channel. I'm the Evil Masker. And the last one, we came over here to this new town, did a look-see, and now we're going to be going into Ringy's Forest here in Heath Village. It's uh, where apparently he took his nieces. Ages ago, the region was watched over by the so-called Guardians. Only descendants of the messenger would be able to tame them. The only known descendant is a strong trainer. He, along with his family, moved away a long time ago. Ooh, could this possibly be Daddy Dearest? Uh, we don't have cut yet. Yo, Challenger! Rinji takes his gym leader duties very seriously. He is motivated by nature and the natural world surrounding him. Spanks, bro! Is this, like, the gym? <laughs> oh! Okay! Hey! 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 We got wild Pokemon! And they're actually kind of powerful! Level 13! That is nothing to... Nothing to shake my dick at. And, uh, they give some decent experience, too. What we got here? We found another gold token! We are also finding that, uh, the sound is cutting out a lot, and, uh, I'd really like for that to not happen. That is, that is heavily annoying. There is a bell sprout. Ah, uh, it's a good time to record. My internet is on the fritz, so I'm gonna wait and see if, uh, it's just gonna come back and I'll be able to watch or listen to, I guess, some terrible warriors. Is this a double battle? Uh, possibly. Hi! Wanna meet our Pokémon? I would love to meet your Pokémon, yes. Twins Amy and May? Uh, no, okay, so this format of using the Game Boy Color will not allow for double battles. That's cool. It will allow for me to set a bell spread on fire, though. Yeah, that happened about as well as I thought it would. And we'll go ahead and grow to level 17. That's awesome. And we're trying to learn Foresight. Uh, no. I don't really want to learn Foresight. About to use Butterfree. Uh, no, I, I think we kind of want to stay in. Uh, afterwards, I'll do a bit of a quick team recap just in case anybody's, you know, forgotten where we're at. Yo, this, yo, this Butterfree, this is a hard Butterfree. Um, unfortunately, I ball hard all day, all night. I do not remember the rest of the lyrics to their theme song. But, uh, put in the comments if you just caught my reference and, uh, what the reference was. So, uh, wait, what? Oh! So I actually do have Cut on him on, but we don't have the badge for it. That's cool. Uh, we've of course got Natsu, our level 17 Quilava with Blaze, uh, Rocket Ember, Cut, Quick Attack, and Smoke Screen. We've got Diane, our starter, level 16, rock ground type with guts, rocking, uh, oh, and holding the soft sand, and I forgot to get rid of, uh, Facebook out of my background, but apparently my internet is working, that's cool. It's holding the soft sand to power up that mud slap, also rocking uh, rock throw, focus energy, and sand storm. We've got Shinatsu, our Azumarill, level 18 with thick fat, uh, rocket water gun sing swift and double slap. We've got, of course, Sakura, our Ralts, level 18 with synchronize, rocket confusion, draining kiss, willow wisp, and teleport. And last but not least, we've got Artemis, level 20, electric Luxio with rivalry, with thundershock, power ballad, tackle, and double kick. So, that is our team. I'm wondering if that's the gym? Oh, that's a trainer. 
<laughs> you can't beat my grass Pokemon. Think about that. Think about that. We were gifted a Fire-type Pokemon, so like, we were kind of set up for this. And I kind of like that because the levels are so, like, wildly higher than they usually are. That they're like, okay, we'll, we'll throw you a bit of a bone and at least give you a mod that's super effective. We got Shroomish. I love Shroomish. Okay, let's be honest here. I love Braylon. And the fact that you can get a Pokemon that good so early into third gen is really fun. Uh, we are poisoned, and that sucks. But, uh, we should be able to heal that off perfectly fine. He's about to send in a Tangela, or sorry, she's about to send in a Tangela. And we about to send this thing up. Hiya! Straight hot fire! Woo! Uh, I'm gonna call that a completely necessary critical hit for the win. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna have a very powerful Natsu in this fight. Uh, let's see. We should have Antidotes, right? Yeah, we good, man. We good. Uh, let's go inside here. And... Okay, we're gonna... Please don't let me find him in the basement with his kids. What even the fuck is this place? Ha! Huh. Lava may seem useless to some, but to me, it's a big moneymaker. Interact with the lava to smelt whatever ore you have mined. Or, your, or turn your coal into ash. Just make sure you have your soot sack before you put your coal in there. I don't have a soot sack. Okay, but apparently this is where we can come. Can we get an encounter here? I guess not. Okay, so that's where you go to smelt anything you get. That's cool. Uh, we've got ourselves a Venonat here. No one really gives a shit about Venonat. Alright, we're gonna need to zoom past these guys. I think at the start of this LP, too, I was like, I'm not gonna use the speed up button that much. And then, uh, and then, then these guys happen. It's weird, like, you feel like there's supposed to be something here. There is nothing here. So I feel like this game could totally be Nuzlocke if you knew what you were getting into. Grass type Pokemon are so underrated. Look! Uh, grass Pokemon are kind of underrated. Uh, Chikorita's not <laughs> really underrated. I mean, huh. I think it actually can be underrated. Yeah, because it is actually a lot bulkier than I think people realize. And people just kind of dismiss it as not being very good. But, no, I don't, I don't agree with that. I mean, Chikorita's my favorite out of the second gen starters. You know, sorry, not so, but it's true. Um, you know what, I should have had that as part of the discussion, like, what do you think is the most underrated type in Pokemon? But, you guys can already see, I do the discussions actually before I start filming. And the discussion is, what is your favorite fictional forest? So this could be, uh, you know, Forest of Illusion. It could be, uh, The Forbidden Forest of Harry Potter. It could be any number of, like, the 4,000 fucking forests in The Lord of the Rings. You know, there's no wrong answer here on the Massacre channel. Uh, I've got 
exactly one more. And we'll fill up there. Wow, really? That's, that's not a hidden item? I mean, seems like a really good place to put a hidden item. Just, once again, just, there's, there's nothing here. There's a whole pile of nothing here. Schoolboy Doug wants to send out his Paris. What's my PP for Ember looking like? Because, uh, wow, I am halfway through. I have been setting all these bitches on Fahaya. I mean, it, it's grass types. What, what do they want me to do? Not use fucking Natsu? None of my other Pokemon are good against grass types, so like, friggin'. It resists Shinatsu. It resists. Um, yo, I'm learning Flame Wheel. Fuck yes! Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get. Part of me wants to get rid of Smokescreen, but part of me kinda wants to get rid of Ember. I'm gonna get rid of Ember. This is my Luxio, my Artemis. Uh, it's, it resists anything I got with Diane. So I think my only other option there is Sakura, and... Uh, against Bulbasaur I probably could have sent out Sakura, because Bulbasaur is also part poison type. I should be looking at which ones are part poison type and sending Sakura out against those ones. But I'm still gonna lead with frickin' Natsu, because duh. I'm Rinji. I am one with the nature- oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna give him <laughs> Weevil Underwood. I am one with the nature, and the nature is one with me. Tell about you. Do you feel the nature around you? You must learn to live with it, not just in it. This guy, look at this man's hair! Look at his clothes! This man is kind of racist, actually. Labre, oh, this is a problem. This is a bit of a problem, because this is a grass water type. So... What's weak against it? Like, I want to say... Bug? And is that... It? Yeah, I think that might just be it. Uh... I'm gonna stay in and go for the flame wheel, because it'll be neutral. But... I mean, I'm still a Quilava. Uh, you're gonna use Growl. Okay, I believe actually Flame Wheel is a physical attack. It is. So this is not gonna do as much. That's fine. Ah, uh, there's the Water Gun. It is Stab. Oh, that didn't do too much. We're fine. Take you out with a quick attack. What do we got next? We've got Ivysaur! Hey! We're gonna do the exact same thing I just said I was gonna do. Sakura, you're out. Uh, you are higher level than Sakura. I don't like that very much. No, I don't. But, I should still be able to do this. Wow. That... God, why did that do basically nothing? How much is this gonna... Yeah, okay. Oh my god, Ralts is so frail! Ralts is so frail! Okay. We're going out into Natsu. I'm sorry, I do love the Ralts line, and my mascot is Gardevoir. But there's a reason my mascot is Gardevoir and not Ralts. Ralts is so fucking flimsy. 
Uh, you can go ahead and see how flimsy Rawls is if you head over to the channel to Craven Gaming. Uh, he's gonna have a new series coming out soon, and there may or may not be a Rawls in the future. So, you know, maybe go ahead and check that out. Actually, by the time this episode is up, they'll probably have the first episode up. So, you should go over there and check that out. I love doing series with Craig. Like, he's, he's kind of the one that got me into Nappy and Shady, and, you know, by extension from that, uh, Nexus, and other Poketubers. And that kind of got me back into Pokemon. So, I kind of have him to thank for that. We got the Nature Badge. Nature Badge will make the nature appreciate you. Up to level 40. Also, take this. TM57. It's going to be a Grass-type move. I'm going to say Giga Drain. Razor Leaf. Okay. TM57 contains Razor Leaf. The power of nature will aid you with this. It also has a better chance of clinical hits. Is there anybody on my team that can even learn frickin' Razor Leaf? Uh, no. Alright. And we can finally use Cut. So, thank shit for that. I'm actually gonna go back and heal, but I'm pretty sure there was another... Uh... There was another cut thing, wasn't there? I'm gonna come back down here, by the way, to heal, because... Yeah, it's, it's just a hell of a lot smarter. And of course, we've got a bike we can go on now! So I really don't even have to speed up or anything, because... It does not take long to get back. So wasn't there other, like, cut places around here? Or am I just... I'm losing my mind. I'm probably losing my mind. That's fine. Uh, if I missed some place, uh, let me know. That's the rest house. I feel like there's another place I haven't gone in here. Or is it just, like, down here to Route 69? Actually, I think I went down to Route 69. Is it this shit? Why am I- why am I actually kind of losing my mind? Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and head back, I guess? Wow. Okay, so there's a, there's a whole thing around here that you can do absolutely nothing with. Alright, let's head back. It's been a while since I've done some recording, so... I, I bulk record episodes every, like, week or so. Oh, wait, I can cut through here. Let's do that. Uh, let's also go into our party here and lead with uh, Diane. That way we can get some levels on her. We're at Route 65. Oh, there's a cool looking Pokeball over there. And we've got Schoolboy Travis. He's gonna send out a swallow! Dude, a swallow is so cool! Why did this thing not get a third evolution? We've got Talo, Swallow. This thing should have gotten a third evolution. It is super cool. There's another twister. That really? Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Come on, don't do this. So that was a gym, technically. Or not even technically, like... 
In every sense- Oh, come on! In every, like, sense of the word, that, that was a gym. So, I think that's kind of cool. We got the- we got the gym badge there, we got the nature badge. Everything Everything's about nature. You gotta learn to be one with nature, man. Nature's gonna fucking- ugh. I hate those people. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's go to the Mart. I want to be able to pick up some stuff here. Uh, gold tokens. Oh, okay. Megaphone Protein Confuse Guard. Okay. Um, did I see that before? Oh yeah, there's, there's this guy who isn't actually a thing. Uh, this is what I wanted, yes. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up, like, five of these. Oh, I already had a bunch of those, apparently. Let's go ahead and pick up some of those. Let's go pick up five of these. Uh, the Moo Moo Milks, which I absolutely love. God damn it, Facebook! anything from heat this guy. I'm just doing like a quick reminder of what everybody sells. Uh, burger, fries, and soda pop. Uh, once again, oh god, everybody's gonna be yelling at me in the comments section. Like, you said you wouldn't pick up super potions now that they sell fucking soda pop, fucking, fucking dick. And you know what? You're right. You're right. I 100% completely forgot about that. That is my bad. Uh, I am, however, going to pick up some great balls. And... Uh, that's gonna be it. Oh, I could pick up some repels, actually. Nope, I'm gonna save up for super repels. I've got a... I've got a uh, speed up button with this game's name on it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, so we're we are now here. Uh, let's see what we can get here on Route 75. Oh, we can get our own low tad, even though I'm pretty sure we could have found this earlier. Uh so low tad's not great. What else can we get here? Oh, we can get a Pikachu! Uh, we could have gotten a Pikachu beforehand. Again, as much as I, you know, personally love Pikachu, it's also not very great. I think Thundershock is its only attack? Oh no, it's definitely attack. Okay. I'll go ahead and kill off the Pikachu. Uh, if not just for the extra level. Alright, well, we've got another trainer to fight here. I have cute Pokemon, look! Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Yo, hello? Screw your Pokemon, Michelle! I'm gonna get with you! Volby. Bugfly. Uh, you are quad weak to this fucking rock thing. So, yeah, please encore me into this move. <laughs> yeah, quick attack is what I thought. Unfortunately, I don't have a bad AI, so I'm not gonna not go through with that second attack. What do you got? You've got a Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff! Uh, I will go ahead and stick around. I will... Focus my in oh shit! You've got power ballad. That's good against rock, isn't it? Shit. Uh, I think I'm going to switch out. Who am I going out into? Artemis. Come on, Artemis. You're gonna use fairy wind. That's cool. That shouldn't do too 
much. I'm gonna go for the double kick. That did do dick. Okay. I'm gonna go for the power ballad myself. It doesn't affect enemy weekly stuff. Okay. Um are fairies or normal types? I mean I gotta assume fairies, right? Are fairies immune to uh sound attacks? Uh wait. Electric is super effective? The fuck type are you? It's gotta be a sound type, right? I mean, that just makes sense to me. Surskit, uh, we are gonna switch out into Artemis. I should really be reading what these guys are saying, but I'm not, and that may be like a dick move on my part, and I apologize. I'm gonna go into here and uh, give a super potion to Artemis. And uh, yeah, let's go with the Thundershock. Yeah. So I have no idea what's going on with the sound type. I don't know. I can't keep track of what it's super effective and not very effective against. I think it's super effective on rock. Maybe it's not very effective on ground. But uh, which region is north again? Uh, uh, we get one of these to you. One of these to you. Actually, let's give you two. Hashtag bars. Uh, there's nothing over there. What is with all of the like red herring places? I really do not get it. Pokemon strike with such grace. You know what? They do. You're not wrong about that, uh, Bird Keeper Carter. Yo, you know who else has the name Carter? Carter Grayson, leader of the Lightspeed Rescue Power Rangers. And, like, the coolest dude. Seriously, like, I was, I was a huge fan of Power Rangers, and my favorite Red Ranger still is Carter. Um, the very first monster that they ever went up against? He tried to ram it with a Jeep. Yep, his first instinct was not to morph, not to punch it, he tried to run it over. I mean, the dude was made of fire. So... Ooh, it's a crit! Shady would be proud. Shady-sama, if you could hear me. That crit was for you. Uh, not the crit earlier that, like... Uh... Sakura did. <laughs> because that... that did not save her. And there's the rock throw. And Birdkeeper Carter was defeated. Oh, you're an actual traitor. You look good, but not good enough for me. Oh, little bitch. This last Daphne? Yo, you won't be laughing at me. Don't you... No, 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 no. I was actually going to reference uh, a really, really bad meme uh, based on a really, really bad episode of like, what was it like Cherry Springer or something? I don't know. It's just it was really, really bad, and it should never be referenced. is about to send in Flaffy. We are getting really, really close to uh, ending this episode. In fact, 
We should be ending it, like, right now. But, we're not, not just yet. I want to go past here and kind of see what's going on. Accuracy fall. Yeah, let's get them accuracy drops. Yeah, let's have Cotton Spore hit me anyway. Dude, you are already faster than me. Pretty sure Flaffy is out, like, outspeeds Larvitar on its own. That was my last butt slap, too. Diane, you are a god. Goddess. You are a goddess. Diane is trying to lure. Oh, oh my god. Uh, yeah, we gonna get rid of Mud Slap! <laughs> and we gonna put in some dig! That is amazing. We've now got a physical ground type move. Uh, at least up until Magnitude. Humans didn't live in Malho until the projectors, protectors brought those who were pure of heart. Being a gate guard pays very well. What do I do? Stand here all day doing nothing. Hooray for capitalism. Oh, uh, you're right. They are building these root gates everywhere. Oh, we're in Laurel City. And we're going to explore Laurel City in the next episode. But if you guys like this episode, find a way to make that like button your bitch. And of course, follow me on Twitter at Time for a Massacre on the screen and link in the description. I am the Beagle Massacre. That's the 411.